Jobs of the Future. This is a series of videos for the Student Herald. I am compelled by desire to bring out this video and a series of videos about jobs of the future and what a student should consider when considering the pathway keeping the future in your mind. This is a student hero video and I'll attempt to take this video at different locations in Canada to give students a perspective. I am particularly driven towards Alec Ross's book where he talks about the industries of the future and he says that the past two years or two, I'm sorry, the past two decades were decades of digitization. He also says that the next decade to come it is going to build on digitization, but he thinks that due to advances in hardware, material sciences, and hardware intelligence, there are new industries going to come up. He has this to say, the world's largest industry to industries today was created out of computer code. And in the decades to come, the next largest industry is going to be created by genetic code. It has been a few years since the human genome is mapped and not in the distant future. This is going to be a revolution in life sciences. There has been a huge breakthrough in mathematics in the last few months and it is now possible to make robotic accomplish complex tasks. Moving robotics from routine and manual to cognitive and non-routine. Another big adma advancement is cloud robotics. He refers to as intelligence from the cloud. Artificial intelligence can be lean machines as long as they are connected to the cloud. In the past, robotics has replaced manual labor in many factories. But the combinations of artificial intelligence and new automation techniques may displace even white collar professionals. 65% of students will have job titles that presently does not exist. Two most important things about future careers according to Alec are number one, interdisciplinary disciplinary learning take science, technology, engineering, and mathematics and combine them with skills in humanity focused on persuasion, teaching, and other such things. And number two, language learning, foreign languages and computer languages. With the world growing more and more digital and more and more global. If you are a good coder, you have a few decades of employability which you may be well worth it. With this I end this video. Please wait for my other videos. Again we will go in stages. I will first cover robotics and then other aspects of the future of uh, employability. Thank you.